When you're connecting your TV antenna to more than one television in your home, the conventional wisdom is to just use a splitter like this. Splitters allow you to connect two, three, four, or even more televisions to your TV antenna, splitting and distributing the signal throughout your home. But sometimes splitting up your TV signal might result in this. If you're having pixelation or picture disruption on any channels when you're using a splitter to connect multiple TVs to your TV antenna, then you might have to step it up to a distribution amplifier. So here's a conventional TV splitter I'm using in my home. I've got the antenna signal coming in here and then the signal gets split four ways and distributed out to the televisions in my home. And here's a result of using a non-amplified splitter with four televisions. We're getting severe pixelation, the picture's completely broken up, totally unwatchable. Normally TV signal splitters are handy devices when you're splitting the signal up say only two ways like these, once you start splitting the signal up three ways or four ways or maybe even eight ways like this, you run into problems because you're taking the same amount of signal and dicing it up into smaller and smaller pieces, which means that each television you add into the system gets less and less signal. And that's what causes reception problems and picture breakup. And every time you split a signal, you're essentially cutting the signal in half. So adding more TVs into the mix just compounds the problem. So to stop that signal disruption, what you need to use is some sort of amplified splitter or distribution amplifier. So if you're going to connect three or four or more TVs into a house, then what you want to do is use one of these. This is a distribution amplifier that's made by Channel Master. Now this is a good quality one. Now there are other ones on the market that are less expensive and most of those will probably work fine as well, but today we're going to use this one. And out of the box, it comes with the amplifier, a power adapter, as well as a piece of coax cable, which is actually gonna carry the voltage from our adapter to our amplifier. And of course the instructions are included as well. And here's what makes this amplifier so cool. Besides the fact that it's very well built, a very sturdy uh, chassis on it, it actually will insert eight decibels of power back into each port. So instead of the signal being lost, this is going to send an even stronger signal to each television. To put it in perspective, a three decibel gain is equal to a doubling of power output. So the fact we're getting an 8 decibel gain on each port of this amplifier tells you that we should have no trouble getting back all the channels on each TV in the house. So I did a little bit of pre-assembly out here in the garage before I brought this in the house and it's pretty straightforward. What you do is just connect your coax cable to the RF port on your power adapter here and that coax cable is going to carry the voltage needed to our amplifier to make it work. And you're gonna connect it here at the power in port. Make sure you're putting it on the, on the right port there. And now we can take this in the house and connect up all of the coax for the TVs and see how that signal looks. All right, so here is the amplifier installed in the house. I have it mounted and just to review, this is the power in port here. This cable goes back to the AC adapter that we uh, looked at in the garage. This gets plugged into the wall outlet. This port is for your antenna input, so this cable comes from the antenna, and then these four ports are outputs to the TVs in your home. Now all we have to do is plug this in. And the green LED goes on on the adapter and also on the amplifier. And now we can check the signal on our TVs and see if things have improved. All right, those channels have come back nicely. No sign of pixelation or breakup whatsoever. All right, so to wrap this video up, if you're going to connect two or more TVs to your television antenna to create some kind of whole home or master antenna system, then you definitely wanna step it up beyond 
a conventional TV splitter to make sure that all the televisions are getting an adequate amount of signal. And to do that, you want to use some kind of amplified splitter or distribution amplifier. And the channel master model we used in the video today is definitely up for the task.